Hello everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new CPU cooler from Cooler Master. This is the Sidon 120M. It's a closed loop liquid CPU cooler. So first off, let's take a look at some of the benefits of a closed loop liquid CPU cooler. This is maintenance free as opposed to the uh, loops that you set up yourself. So once you set it up, since there is no area for the liquid to escape, you never need to fill it or change out the liquid. You also have micro channel technology as part of the copper water block right there. So the liquid passes through these channels and effectively dissipates the heat from your CPU. It's also got a wide range PWM fan. For a little bit more on that, we'll take a look at some of these specs on the side. I did want to read off the CPU socket types this is compatible with. So for Intel, you got socket LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775. For AMD, FM1, AM3+, AM3, and AM2. And uh, AM, I should mention FM2 uses the same mounting solution as FM1, so it should also be compatible with that. Uh, apart from that, we have some dimensions listed here. The radiator is made of, made of uh, aluminum. 120 millimeter fan included, the fan speed between 600 and 2400 RPM. There is your static pressure, there's your, uh, I'm sorry, there's your airflow, there's your static pressure, there's your life expectancy, there is your fan noise level. It's a rifle bearing fan, four pin for PWM capability. There's your rated voltage and all the other specs going down there. So let's take a look inside the box. So here are some accessories. These are your primary mounting hardware right there and I'll take a closer look at those in detail. You also have an instruction manual, and a warranty card. All right, guys, we're going to start off with a closer look at the radiator and pump over here. So this is a closed-loop unit, and as you can see, you've got some tubing extending between the radiator and the pump slash water block. So this is the part that will actually attach down onto your motherboard. I must apologize that the uh, pre-applied thermal paste is a little messed up here. I promised Mr. Lamb I wouldn't tell everyone that that was his fault. Uh, you can see your copper block, water block down there at the bottom and uh, be, bear in mind where these little attachment points are right there, right there because I'm going to be explaining what they're for and how you're going to mount the uh, mount this to your motherboard. Also, you are going to need a backplate for a few of the installations for Intel, I should say, and that's going to essentially line up like that with your motherboard in between. Now you got a couple tubes here, one for an intake, one for an outtake. Uh, the pump is also part of this unit, so that's attached right there. You have a single three-pin uh, power connector, so a standard fan-type power connector right there to plug into your motherboard. That will power the pump and uh, essentially get you all good to go. It's also nicely sleeved. Uh, over here you can see the radiator, and this is where the uh, cooling happens. So the liquid flows through the radiator. You have a fan, which you can attach on either side of this. It's got mounting points for either configuration, and then you can sort of choose the best configuration that suits your needs with your computer, uh, and set up your fan, attach it to that, and that will project air across the fins and keep everything nice and cool. Also, please don't turn on. I don't know exactly know what that means, but don't touch this. That's what they're trying to tell you. There's a little sticker over it that avoids your warranty if you remove that. So there is uh, the radiator and pump. You also have, of course, the aforementioned fan. Fan also has a nicely sleeved cable. This one has four pin, so you actually can just connect that to your CPU fan header, and that way uh, it can determine based on your CPU temperature to increase or decrease the speed of the fan to give you good cooling or quiet running or a nice decent mid-range between the both, depending on the temperature of your CPU. Now uh, let's go over the rest of the accessories as well as a sort of a basic demonstration of installation. So this is the uh, back plate that you're going to be using for Intel sockets except for 2011 and uh, I like this because it's got the sort of three position thing that you see, may have seen with other uh, CPU cooler back plates before but it's sort of all contained so you just sort of snap that into place three positions for uh, socket 70, 775, 1155 and 1366 so you put that in the right position you position that behind your motherboard and then uh, you have these little screws that protrude through if you're going with AMD, you're actually going to use the stock back plate that comes on an AMD motherboard. You just remove the top plastic bracket. Now for Intel mounting solutions, you're going to be using these and they'll attach to the uh, mounting points on the uh, water block that I showed you guys uh, a few minutes ago, or seconds, however long I've been talking for. You also have some spring-loaded Phillips head screws, so you're just going to use those to attach down on top of that guy. But uh, if you're using Intel, you're going to put these in place first, like so. That way you'll have something to screw those into. Now, I mentioned before that you don't need a backplate for the Intel Socket 2011. That's because it's got a universal backplate, which is pretty awesome. So you're just going to mount these little guys to that. And then, just as you would with the uh, other mounting solutions, you mount the socket down onto that. 
like so. They've also included you a little socket adapter right there so you can tighten those down good and tight. Uh, you've got a few screws here and those are used to attach your bracket, whether it be the Intel version of the bracket or the AMD version of the bracket to the water block and keep those secure. You've also got some long screws here as well as some short screws and that's just simply for fan mounting. So depending on the configuration that you're ha having this set in, you may need to thread these screws through long ways like so. Or if you have this positioned differently, actually you, you would use these to attach to the radiator and then uh, you can also use these to attach directly if you're going to be mounting the radiator uh, simply to directly to the back exhaust or something like that on your computer. And that's going to be all for this video guys. Once again this has been the Cooler Master Sidon 120M closed loop liquid CPU cooler with the cooler and the included 120 millimeter fan. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel and of course don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.